six Su 35S fighters and a Su 30SM fighter jet of the Russian Knights Aerobatic Team landed at Zhuhai Jinwan Airport on Thursday afternoon. During the airshow, the Red Eagle Aerobatic Team will present stunning flight performances together with the PLA Air Forces by Aerobatic Team and the Russian Knights Aerobatic Team. Russia's fifth-generation Su-57 fighter Thursday conducted its acclimatization training for the 15th China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition, also known as the Zhuhai Airshow in Zhuhai, South China's Guangdong Province. The Su-57, a single-seat twin-engine stealth multi-role fighter aircraft, features superior stealth performance, short-distance takeoff and landing capability, and supersonic cruising. It combines both air combat and ground attack capabilities. An Iranian F-4 fighter was mistakenly shot down by Iranian air defense in the Kermanshah region, Aviopromedia outlet reports this. There is no data confirming the incident yet, but the Simorg news agency reports that a military aircraft crashed near Mount Bistan. According to eyewitnesses, after the incident, security forces immediately blocked the section of the road from Bistan to Dinvar, restricting traffic for the operation. Local residents confirm that security services and the military are working at the site, but there are no official comments yet on the causes and consequences of the plane crash. Iran's air defense system remains imperfect, with a number of vulnerabilities in detecting and intercepting modern high-speed and stealth targets, reducing its effectiveness against advanced air threats. Given the mountainous region, the aircraft could well have been identified as a hostile target. The Iranian Air Force has a total of 63 F-4 Phantoms, specifically the F-4D, F-4E, and RF-4E variants. The F-4E was indeed the last variant of the venerable Phantom to be built, produced between 1965 and 1973. The planes were sold to Iran when it was still under the rule of Mohammad Reza Shah, who was a staunch ally of both the United States and Israel.
Hurricane Rafael made landfall in Cuba on Wednesday as a powerful Category 3 hurricane, shortly after powerful winds knocked out the country's power grid. Forecasters warned the could bring life-threatening storm surges, winds and flash floods to western swaths of the island. By mid-afternoon on Wednesday the Union Electrica announced the collapse of electricity in the whole country. The second total blackout in one month. School and public transportation have been suspended as civil defense issued an alert. In Havana's capital, the streets were deserted and being battered by strong wind and rain. It is another blow for Cuba, which is facing the aftermath of another hurricane that passed through two weeks ago and left at least eight dead in the eastern part of the island. Thousands of people were evacuated between Tuesday and Wednesday in western provinces for residing in low-lying or dangerous areas. Public transportation and classes and many work activities were suspended in the capital, Havana, and several provinces. Crews collected garbage and other obstructive materials from the Malacan and several low-lying areas, as floods were forecasted. At the same time, roofs, windows, boats, and any property that could be affected were secured. Throughout the day heavy downpours began to fall and the wind whipped trees. The authorities also cancelled flights in the main air terminals, such as Havana and Veradero. Hurricane Rafael arrived in Cuba under complex circumstances. It brought significant rainfall to the east last week, particularly in Guantanamo, where the previous cyclone, Oscar, made landfall on October 20. Oscar left eight people dead and affected more than 150,000 people, destroying roads, bridges, and houses. It also damaged coffee crops, which are among the most important in the region.